And continuing one of our top stories this week, the defence lawyer for Singapore leader of the opposition, Pritam Singh, is seeking to impeach former MP Raisa Khan as a witness. Grilling Miss Khan on day two of Singh's trial, Mr Andre Jumaboy called her a, quote, non-stop liar and poked holes in her testimonies. Singh, who also is the Workers' Party chief, is accused of lying to a parliamentary committee over a case involving Miss Khan. Geraldine Yap reports. The attention was centred again on former Workers' Party MP Raiza Khan on the second day of the trial involving leader of the opposition Pritam Singh. She's the central figure in this case, having lied in Parliament three times over a fake anecdote about a sexual assault victim. The WP chief's lawyer labelled Ms Khan as a liar who has been telling lies non-stop and he sought to poke holes in her statements during his cross-examination. The defence then put in an application to impeach Ms Khan because of inconsistencies in her statements to the police and in court. Now this means that her credibility as a witness will be undermined and the testimony may not be relied on. The inconsistencies relate to Ms Khan's accounts about how she reacted when she received an email from Singh in October 2021 telling WP MPs how serious it is to be able to back up and defend what they say in Parliament or risk being hauled up before the Committee of Privileges. Ms Khan told the court on Tuesday that she did not consider that email as a prompt to clarify her lie, but instead saw it as a dig at her and a way to placate the other WP MPs. She had previously told the police she felt fear when she saw the email, that the untruth would be brought up again in the next parliament sitting. The defence said these two accounts are materially different, a point the prosecution disagreed with. The judge will decide if there are grounds to impeach Ms Khan. The defence also questioned Ms Khan's accounts on what the WP leaders had told her about her fake anecdote. The defence said maintaining the narrative if she was not pressed in Parliament and taking the lie to the grave were fundamentally different. Earlier in the day, Ms Khan told the court how she felt defeated and betrayed by the people she looked up to and trusted when the WP leadership convened a disciplinary committee against her lie in Parliament. She said they used the panel to criticise her and almost pretended that they had not been guiding her on what to do about her falsehood. The trial resumes Wednesday.